My name is Jillian Franz. I work for Shield Industries and I am a fire specialist and logistics manager. We manufacture a variety of protective coatings for the retail consumer as well as an industrial end user. Today we are at the Georgia Public Safety Training Center to conduct an experiment using the FireGuard E84. The people here that are helping to conduct the experiment are fire officials, contractors, and building code officials. We have constructed three buildings, two untreated buildings with latex paint, and then we have one treated building with the FireGuard E84. What we're going to do today is light an ignition source in the two outer buildings and the radiant heat from the untreated building will flash over into the other untreated building. Then the treated home with the FireGuard E84 will maintain intact. During the experiment, I was surprised at how quickly the untreated buildings were fully engulfed in flames. It took probably five minutes for them to be fully engulfed in flames, while the house treated with the FireGuard E84 withstood the flames for at least 20 to 30 minutes. What we had was a board. One side was treated with two coats of FireGuard E84. The other side was treated with a white latex house paint. And we were trying to simulate what you would see inside of the burning building with the torches exposed directly, simulating the fire that we had inside the home. The FireGuard E84 creates a thermal barrier in order to prevent heat transfer so that the wood doesn't flame up and catch fire. As you can see here, the left side treated with the latex paint will burn through and the right side with the intumescent paint will begin to puff to the surface to create that thermal barrier. I think this product could significantly affect building code and zoning laws because it will allow firefighters more response time to arrive at the scene and also save lives by allowing more time for people to evacuate. And it is significantly cheaper, less labor, and less material costs for contractors.